What's up guys, DVApps here. Today I'll be showing you how to make an outro using Photoshop. Outros are great for promoting your other videos and they've also been known to increase audience retention. So firstly to get started you'll need Photoshop. You could just get a trial version of Photoshop CC but if you have Photoshop just open that up and then click on file then go down to new and then you want to make the width 1920 and the height 1080 this is if you're making a 1080p video if you're making a 720p video for the width type in 1280 and for the height type in 720 and then this will give you a 720p resolution make sure that the background contents are transparent and then click on ok now you want to choose a background you can use like a gradient overlay but that just doesn't look that good. I'll be using a mesh background. It's kind of like the thing that I use for my current outro. So mesh background. Just go over to Google Images and type in what you need. You might even like something like a radial background or maybe a textured background. But I'll just be using something like this. Once you've chosen the one that you like, just right click and click on save image as. And then just save it to wherever you like. I'll just save it on my downloads folder and then click on save then just go back into photoshop then click on file place embedded then just select the image that you just downloaded and click on place mine was exactly the same size but your one might not be so to resize it just hold shift and then just drag one of the corners to make it bigger then once you're happy with the size just click on the tick mark over here for me that just looks really complicated and it won't look that good so what i'm going to do is just turn down the mesh a bit and the way I'm going to do that is draw a rectangle over the whole background. And then I'm going to make the fill black. And then I'm just going to change the opacity. So that you can still see the mesh. But it's just not that in your face. Now you just want to make a rectangle on top of... Now you just want to make two rectangles for your videos. Now to do this just go over to the rectangle tool. And then just click on it. Then just go over to the background and click on it. Now you want to make the width 484 and you want to make the height 240. Then this will give you a rectangle that will, that will be 240p so that you can put your video inside it. Then just change the fill to no fill and then change the stroke to whatever you want. I'll just make it white. Actually I'm going to change the stroke color to a red so that it stands out a bit more. Then make sure that the stroke size is 10pt and you'll be good to go. Now you just want to duplicate this layer so just right hand click on the rectangle layer over here and then go over to duplicate layer then it will just ask for a name I'll just leave it as a default and then click on OK now hold Control and click on T then hold shift and just drag it over to the right hand side this way they're both in line then just click on the tick now you just want to put text saying previous video or previous and another one saying random or random video so just go over to the text tool then click underneath one of the rectangles and then choose a font that you like I'll be using a font called Nexa Bold and a link to that will be in the description in case you want to download it now I'll just write previous video now I'll just change the size to around 50 maybe and then just resize it then once you're happy with the size just go over to the tick mark then you just want to do the same thing to the other side so random video just move it over click on the tick now you just want to put your social links so just go over to google and then search for the social icon that you want for example you could get skype and then i'll just put my skype one then go over to images you want to get one that's transparent you can do this by typing in skype png and it will most likely come up with the ones that are png just click on one of them and then you'll see that it's transparent when it has a checkered background now just right click save image as and save it to wherever you wanted to save it i'll just save it to the downloads go back over to photoshop then click on file place embedded and then just choose the image then to resize it just hold shift and then drag it down by one of the corners then I'll just put it around here you can put it wherever you want and then once you're happy with it just click on the tick mark 
then just type in your Skype username or whatever social media that you've cho chosen. Then you can add any of these effects. For me, I'll just be adding a stroke. Maybe turn it down a bit. That looks good. Drop shadow. Turn that down a bit as well. Gradient overlay. And then once you're happy with all the effects, just click on OK. Now to be convenient, you don't want to be having to go to blending options for all of these layers. So what you can do is easily just copy the layer style. So to do that, just right hand click on the layer that you want to copy. Then go down to copy layer style over here. And then right hand click on the one that you want to paste it to. And then go over to paste layer style. Then just do this to all the text layers. Now all of the text layers have the same layer style. Now you just want to make a subscribe here button so that your viewers can easily subscribe to you at the end of your videos. And then you can just put like a subscribe annotation. So once they click on that, it just takes them to the subscribe link. To do that, go over to the text layer, then click on the main document, then just put subscribe here. And you can make the font different so that it stands out more. I'll make it a font called Space Comics. Once again, the download link will be in the description and I'll also make the size bigger so that it stands out. Then just click on the tick mark over here. Then you just want to add blending options. So right hand click on the layer, then go to blending options. And then I'll just add a stroke, drop shadow, pattern overlay, gradient overlay. Now once you're happy with all the blending options, just click on OK. Now we're done. All you have to do is save it. So just go over to file, save as save it as a PNG and then you can save it wherever you like I'll just save it on my desktop and call it outro then click on save ok and then it will go ahead and save this is how it look like that's all for this video make sure to like comment and subscribe let's see if you can get 5 likes on this video thanks for watching until next time peace <laughs>